Hello, welcome to Local Edition. I'm Leslie Layton. John Morlock made his way from Santa Ana, Orange County's supervisor's seat and offices there, up to Senator now, Senator John Morlock here, to talk about his first go round up in Sacramento and uh, what that's been like. And some of the efforts that have been defeated, you're kind of outnumbered as far as your political perspective up there. This is a blue state and mm -hmm. we have uh, 26 Democrats and 14 Republicans in the state Senate, 40 total, but 14 just gets us one vote over one third. So we can at least stop bills that require a two thirds vote. But you're outnumbered in a lot of cases, so really you're left to just uh, take your message and uh, yell and run with it. We certainly try to express our concerns about a lot of the bills that have been uh, put before us and try to say, hey, this is uh, more regulations or this is more whatever, uh, to try to bring home the message that, you know, we need to make this a more business-friendly state if we're going to survive. One of the main things you did in the, at the time of this last session was try to reform Caltrans, had a bill addressing that, that was shot down. Tell us about that and why you think it didn't work. Well, uh, what was really interesting is that uh, we, we were, we balanced the budget and then we were told let's have a special session for transportation and the governor wants a new tax. He already got Prop 30 uh, a couple years ago, so we're we had higher income tax, higher sales tax, now he wants car taxes. And so uh, we uh, looked at a audit report that was done by the Legislative Analyst Office and it said that Caltrans was overstaffed in their engineers and architects by not 35, not 350, but 3,500 employees. And they made an average of about 143,000 each in total compensation, salary, benefits, pension. So that's a half a billion dollars that's been going just to keep people uh, What would on your bill have done? Well, we said uh, we would like to change the structure of Caltrans and how it outsources. Mm -hmm. It currently outsources only 10% of its work. Mm -hmm. OCTA, right here in Orange County, the Transportation Authority, it outsources 50%. Mm -hmm. Most states do 50%. Arizona, mm -hmm. Florida, 80 mm -hmm. to 85% outsourced. So we said, look, you're your employee survey shows that 54% of your employees are already retirement age, so they can solely matriculate out, and then we start moving work over to the out, to, to outside services. Mm -hmm. So that when you have another recession or something where you have to reduce the amount of work that you can do, you just start terminating the relationships with your outside contractors and not maintain 3,500 employees that you're paying for, for nothing. In fact, uh, one morning, the ABC News shows up. They want to interview you. I said, what for? He says, well, the auditor just came out with a state auditor came out with a report that one of the engineers was golfing every day or almost every day. He was like, he, he decided he'd golf as much as he could. 55 days on the state's clock. Mm -hmm. So the camera comes on. And I said, why is this happening? I said, because they got 3,500 too many. What else is there to do but golf? Well, uh, that's an issue you're probably not going to stop with uh, this uh, coming <laughs> session. Uh, a few of the things you say you're going to look at, unfunded liabilities, the balance sheet, uh, the gas tax. Yeah, well, our, when you compare our state to the other 50, we're, we're in the bottom percentile. We're, 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 we're with Illinois, uh, Connecticut, Massachusetts, and New Jersey. We, we have got to improve our balance sheet. We've got to, to figure out how to streamline government. It's, it's a joke. How can we say to the taxpayers, you need to pay more for your car tax when we got 3,500 people sitting around. We're spending, 62% we, we, of their projects were over budget. Uh, they're spending three times the national average. So it's not a pothole tax, it's a pension tax. Senator John Morlock, thank you for being here. Thank you, Leslie. Thanks for joining us. I'm Leslie Layton.